fantastic day. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Chris. It's so nice to meet you. And if you're a long time follower, thanks for coming back. So today I want to talk about two drugstore liquid lipsticks that I think are definitely worth checking out. Let's rock. All right, so brand number one is Black Radiance and brand number two is Wet n Wild. So if I'm not mistaken, Black Radiance and Wet n Wild are kind of sister brands. Black Radiance tends to have colors that are geared to darker, deeper skin tones and stuff like that. Not saying that you're not going to be able to find any shades that are going to be complementary to deeper skin tones in Wet n Wild and vice versa with Black Radiance. Both brands offer shades for different skin tones, but Black Radiance is going to be more geared to deeper and darker skin tones. As you see, I have three liquid lipsticks. So the Black Radiance looks like this. This is called the Perfect Tone Matte Lip Cream. So far, I only have Smoke and Hot from Black Radiance, and I definitely want to look for other shades. And these are called Wet n Wild Mega Last Katsu Matte Lipsticks. So Video Vixen is this dark one, and Missy and Fierce is this bright red one. So I'm pretty sure you all know that matte lips have been like the trend for like a while now. Um, I personally have dry lips so I've always had trouble wearing the matte lip trend and I kind of tend to go for like more cream finishes or I like to layer my liquid lipsticks with lip balm and stuff like that to make them not as dry. Um, so I was a bit hesitant to try these out because I did not want ultra dry chalky lips. <laughs> Alright, so I actually purchased these products from Walmart. The Black Radiance ones tend to run about $3.43 to $3.99 and you get 0.17 ounces. The Wet n Wild ones tend to run $4.68 to about $4.99 and you get 0.21 ounces. So to my knowledge, there are 12 available shades in the Black Radiance liquid lipsticks. The Wet n Wild cat suits come in 13 colors to my knowledge. Um, Honestly y'all, like when I'm shopping for makeup, depending on what the product is and depending on what I need at the time, I don't really like to buy like entire collections. I love swatching multiple colors and stuff, but sometimes I don't need to add any more of the same type of color, so I don't buy it. <laughs> um, the Black Radiance one smells stronger than the Wet n Wild one. It has kind of like a, a chemical paint smell. It's not fruity or anything like that. And the Catsuit one from Wet n Wild don't really have as strong of a chemical smell as the Black Radiance ones, but both of them, like once they're on my lips, I don't smell it at all and I don't taste that at all either. So one thing to note about these liquid lipsticks is the fact that they do have different applicators. The Black Radiance applicator is like a longer doe foot applicator, but if you see in the clip, the close up, um, it has like a little dip in it that kind of uh, contours to your lip and it makes it pretty easy to apply. is definitely different than the Black Radiance one. Its applicator is also kind of a doe foot, but it's kind of like a, I don't know how to explain this, but it's got like a, it, a dip in it once again, but it's got a point too. So this one I have a really easy time applying to my top lip, um, but when it comes to my bottom lip, it gets really difficult and you'll see that later on in the swatch. Um, it kind of leaves like a line because of the shape of the applicators. So Once I got the hang of the cat suit applicator, I don't really have too many issues with it. Um, I just have to remember to apply it to my top lip first and then go with my bottom lip. For some reason, when I do bottom lip first and then go to top, it's just kind of a mess. checking 
checking out these brands of liquid lipsticks. You don't have to worry about the color and the tubing being completely different on your lips. Um, at least not the shades that I have. They are all true to color um, in the tube. Now I do notice with the black radiance formula, at least with this shade, I do have to layer at least twice to get full pigment. There have been times when I've worn it just uh, with a single coat and just kind of sheared it out for like a stain effect. With the cat suits, I do think that you get full color like immediately. You don't really have to layer um, depending on how you apply. So if you kind of jack up your application the first time because of the doe foot applicator, you may have to layer it. But if you nail it, you shouldn't have to. So another thing I'm loving about both brands is the fact that they don't leave your lips looking like dried out raisins. Okay. I don't really like seeing like a ton of lines in my lips. Now they're going to show up with the products, um, but it's not like as bad as some of the drying matte liquid lipsticks that are out there. Y'all know what I'm saying? Some of them be like, mm mm. <laughs> so as far as how these feel on the lips, I find that once they're fully dried, there's no sticky feeling, especially with the black radiance. Now, because the liquid cat suits are thicker and heavier in formula, if you layer them up, you're definitely going to get a heavier feeling on your mouth. You're going to feel like you have something on your mouth. It's not like sticky like glue or anything like that but you can definitely tell that it's there so another awesome plus about both of these brands is the fact that they're both kiss proof so if you decide to make out on these they shouldn't come off like on your man or anything like that but um, I don't know if I want to make out in a liquid lipstick anyways because you can feel it on your lips like you can feel that you're wearing something um, it's probably gonna take away from the kiss you know what I'm trying to say okay nothing these are not 100 like bulletproof they will eventually start to wear down and break down but what i notice is with the way they tend to wear off is and this is both brands they both just tend to wear off in the center um and it's not really like crazy it's not flaky or patchy or anything like that at least in my case so far i've had these for a couple weeks but they don't really like crumble or peel or anything like that they just kind of like fade off um and if you eat anything oily, they're definitely going to come off because that's the way you tend to remove them. As you see, there's really not too many differences between both of these brands of liquid lipsticks which is why i wanted to pair them together in one video so you're probably wondering which formula i think is better than the other um so although they are like ridiculously close like ridiculously close i think that the cat suit has a slightly better formula just because the wear time is longer than the black radiance one however they are both fantastic but because i have my back up against the wall okay wanting to know which one has a slightly better formula. I would say so far the Wet n Wild has a slight edge. I hope you enjoyed hanging out. If so, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. And also, don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button if you wish to be notified of any future videos from this channel. YouTube has changed it up again, so you kind of got to hit that bell to be notified of every video that is posted here. So I hope you have a blessed day. I'll see you very soon in another video. Take care. Be sure to check out my channel homepage for lots more to watch. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Have a great day.